What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to get Passbook working in iOS 6 Beta 2. Now, as I said in a few days ago in my video on the iOS 6 Beta 2, I told you guys that Passbook is still not working. Well, now there is a way to actually get Passbook working, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do so. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need access to Safari, which obviously is pretty simple, and you're also going to need uh, access uh, to an iOS 6 Beta 2 device. Not Beta 1, make sure you're on iOS 6 Beta 2. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure, again, like you do with Passbook on your home screen, and you're going to want to go ahead and open up the Safari app. And now right in here in Safari, you're going to go ahead and type in this uh, web address. So you're going to put in PassSource.com. Okay, we'll hit go. All right, so here we go, Pass Source Alpha, your source for free iOS 6 Passbook Passes. Now, this may not work entirely uh, correctly yet. Again, it is in alpha stages, this site. This is a non-Apple site, by the way, but you can trust it. I have tried it. You're going to want to go ahead and click Create Free Passes. Okay, and as you can see, I have a whole list of different things that I can actually add to Passbook right here. So, um, I guess we'll just go with Subway Rewards Card because I really like Subway. Um, so we'll scroll down and here we can enter all the information. So, for example, I can enter in barcode number, so I'll just put in a random number. These are all fake numbers, just random stuff. And my name is going definitely to be Mike's iPod Help 101, of course. Whoop. All right. And uh, member since, let's go ahead and put 3012, right? We're just joking around here. And we're going to hit create. And as you can see, this pulls up right here, uh, this subway thing right inside of Apple's little software that they've created. And uh, there is a QR code of my card number itself. You can go ahead and scan it. It's not real. But we'll go ahead and hit add. And uh, that's it. And then once that's done, you could just go ahead and hit the home button and go right into the Passbook app. And as you can see, I have a bunch of passes added here. But the new one that we just created is the Subway one. And then here, you know, you can hit information and you just read all about Subway's rules and regulations and stuff. Show unlock, screen notifications. So let's say I become near a Subway. If I do have the uh, location services enabled for Passbook, if I get near a Subway, it'll automatically remind me and then um, I can use this card and uh, without actually bringing the card itself. And then I want to show you something cool too. If you want to delete it, like let's say it runs out and you don't want to refill it, if you hit the delete button and hit delete, isn't that cool? Apple does it securely, and obviously it's Apple, so I would definitely trust them. Um, but it does it securely, and it shreds up the card, and uh, once it's gone, that's it. And then in real life, if you want to actually shred up the card in real life, you can too. But uh, it completely deletes that record history that you had on your phone itself. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it to it. So you can see I just created a bunch of random ones here. Obviously, there's no such thing as a uh, Paul Planet around me, so I'll go ahead and hit delete on this one. I just think that's really cool the way Apple does that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and I'll sample this again and just create something else. So I'm going to go back here, past source alpha. So uh, let's scroll down a little bit here. And um, let's say I want to make, uh, let me see, an event. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and say the organization is going to be VidCon. Okay. VidCon. Unfortunately, I'm not going. Logo text, obviously I don't need that. I don't need any of this. Okay. Barcode format doesn't matter. Enter whatever you want. Um, and then barcode message. Uh, we'll go ahead and just change this. Barcode message will just say hello. <laughs> okay. Barcode alternative text. Event ticket info. And um, I guess we'll just put in here just random numbers. Okay. I'll go ahead and hit create. And Safari will kind of do this kind of transition thing. Okay, I don't know why it says the beat goes on after I just changed it. It shouldn't have, but I'll just go ahead and hit add anyways, and it'll add it right to my stuff. It'll go back into Safari. I hit the home button, go right into Passbook, and as you can see, I have two tickets for my event now. One to the right, one to the left. So if uh, maybe me and my friend are going, I have them all right here, and I don't have to actually be carrying it with myself. This also works with stuff like CVS cards, any type of uh, store cards, gift cards, credit cards. Actually, I don't know about credit cards, 
but this is how it kind of works. Also, we got plane tickets here, so I don't have to be holding this paper in my pocket anymore. Now, when Apple officially releases this software to the public, I don't think it's going to work the same way as it does now. I think Apple will have something in the Passbook app where you can add everything, and I think it will be a little bit more unified and easier to use than what we currently have with the PassSource website. I definitely know that Apple will not be using this PassSource website in their final version, although you probably will still be able to use it if you do want to create custom things, because through the, all this, if I just, let's say I hit uh, boarding pass, you could create whatever you want custom, and then just hit, oh, I didn't mean to do that, and then just hit go all the way down and hit create. You could customize it fully, so I'm sure Apple will either have a custom setting that you can do, or uh, they'll set their presets like we have on the past source website. But I definitely think that Apple will have something, uh, hopefully very soon, built into this app where you could just create stuff yourself. Whether it be branded, with stores, without stores, uh, custom, etc. so on. So, yeah guys, that's basically it. That's how to get Passbook working in iOS 6. Again, Beta 2. If you like this video, be sure to comment below. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. Rate, of course, and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And then basically you'll go back to the web page and you can go right back in. <laughs> Hello?